I decided to do this video separate because it's probably going to be a little bit long and you know I kind of want to touch base on everything in here. I had to rearrange my room in order to fit this full size inflatable that we got through walmart.com and my in-laws will be staying on our nice bed for a couple of nights while we sleep in here and it's only a couple of nights but there was no other place to put that bed and we had to leave it um, in one of the rooms so that because I do work on one of those days that they're here I have to get up super early and I don't want to wake up anybody um, anywho so I rearranged everything and for the most part I think this room is gonna stay this way um, I have more floor space I lost the table here but it went to this corner so and I'll explain I do have some other older room tour videos when I shared you know I put out this dining table that I had and it gave me a really nice working space which I did love while I had it but it did take up a lot of space and there was no way to put a bed down so I decided just to kind of move things around and I did have to get rid of some things I did some de-stashing and I do have some boxes of things to donate but nothing that I can't live without because I I'm good about letting go so although I do buy a lot of stuff sorry I'm moving around trying to get things out of the frame um, I try not to hoard although there are a few things that I kind of hoard and not use but um, I you know I don't have a hard time letting go when I need to you know it's just stuff and when you die you can't take it with you so yeah um, anyway, so I'm going to show you, and I really love how this side of the room came out. Um, this is not too bad since I put some coverings, but um, it just gave me kind of kind of an L-shaped workspace. So let's just start over here, and I will be removing what you see there because I don't like... I always keep a duster with me and a little pan it uh, a brush and pan just to or dustpan to clean up things off the floor because we don't have a, a handy vac but everything that I had on that table and underneath is all against the wall and all those pieces are recollections drawers uh, from Michaels except for the top two there that are actually from like many years ago at Target they used to carry those scrapbook paper shelves but I mean that was a long time ago um, and that's the majority of my 12 by 12 not including holiday I keep those in those clear pouches um, next to those containers there and the Halloween right now is out because that's what I've been using but it fits it slides in there since there's something that I don't use year out I just kind of hide it so over here it's a mishmash of flowers and other things um, because I had to rearrange what was in these drawers a while back because of my cat getting her paws in there and I can't close those openings you know because then I can't get my hand in so she doesn't go in there anymore but all these drawers carry different things like these are assorted trims and there's more flowers in here and down there are some tool and um, those faux fabrics from Hobby Lobby, stuff like that. There's my Rascock that hasn't changed. It's got all my dies and stamps and on top stuff that I used to make pockets for my um, TNs, Project Life cards. Um, I probably will be going through this again and these stashing maybe more stamps and possibly some dies. I don't know about the dies yet, but that might happen and all my paper collection is here well except for the holiday that I mentioned so 12 by 12 over here is eight and a half by 11 plus some um, eight by eights and then up here are some little crates from Target that are six by six and then the mat size and that basket that wire basket is from Hobby Lobby so my shelf stayed the same I did bring back my little what do you call those like Chinese lantern lights think I found them 
at Target, but I'm not 100% sure. So this pretty much stayed the same. And cat, look, I gave your pumpkin a unicorn horn and ears, and that is from Natasha. She sent me that. So, because I didn't know where to put it until I actually make one of those like a stack cake like this, but into a unicorn, if that's ever going to happen, because now I really lost display space. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's how that looks. I'll show you over here too. I might show you my closet. It's, it's jammed. So I was able to leave out my big cake. I'm trying to leave out my big tools now. The only thing not out is my sewing machine, which I should take it out because I haven't used that in a while. On the side here are the mats for my um, silhouette. So here is my expedite. They don't lo no longer have that at um um what's that store? Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of the store, but you probably know now they have a different brand or name for it. So I have all these bins that are from Target. I always get them when they go on sale, and these are from Recollections, and those hold my little things like little embellishments. There's six of them, and they fit nicely standing up in there. And you know, I had already showed you that I had to put my candy station here a while back so that my cat wouldn't get in there. That's pretty much stayed the same. I had to add to it this and those. I brought this down because I wanted to put a little Halloween display. It's not much. I showed you the pictures earlier, but that's how that looks. I didn't want to take any of this down, none of my shabby chic stuff. The Christmas tree has been up since last year. It's just a shabby chic tree, so for Christmas, when I clear up and put a couple of things up, I might add a few more Christmas ornaments to it. But I don't think I'm going to be decorating as much either for that holiday. It's just so much work to do, and now I have even less room. But that's how that looks, and I just mixed in the Halloween. It looks fine to me. It's just what I love. So coming over here is my Dollar Tree Witch sign. I made that a few years back. I love that. So, and then there's my air climber that I need to use. And I got a little more room to work out. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this little table here is one of those fold-away tables that I think we found at Big Lots a while back. It used to be in there. And this table used to be scooted back more. And you can see the, the space now. That file cabinet used to be on this end with a board on it. And I had my printer. So... Um, I didn't want to lose that black table that I had and I didn't want to put it back out in the living room where it used to be because it's just taking up more space. So I put it in the corner, only opened half of it and it's now like a flat surface because before I had this and it kind of concaves. So when you put anything on it, it just kind of, you know, it didn't look straight. So now I have this flat surface here and I kind of put the same things that I had. I did move over this tear tray that I had on the other display before I moved everything so I needed to find a spot. Um, I put this board here for my laminator only so that stuff slides easily because it gets caught on fabric. Then my silhouette, a mat that I had on that table before so I just put it there. Again my printer and this is my in and out basket. <clears throat> and my tissue that I, my tissue box that I altered a few years back. And I'm just going to scan. Some things didn't change. Some things did. I have my shelf. None of that changed. And then my desk. So I'm feeling like this is really looking cluttered over here. So I have to rethink this space here. I don't know if it's because I scooted everything over. It looks more cluttered or what. But um, I don't mind too much this. It's just this part. So got to think that through again. I might just have to condense what I have here, get rid of stuff, and then just condense it all together. And then just get rid of that one, then I'll have a little more. I just don't like clutter. And at first, you know, I might like something, but then eventually, I don't know, it just starts to look cluttered to me. So here, this was also back on the other wall when I had the table, and it was part of the candy station. So I did leave some of the stuff. I added the skull. And I've been using these three tools a lot, so I put them on the shelf up since this way I got some room for my laptop. And whatever I had in there is still in there. This little bin I had back in this corner. So 
um, that works out. I had the little thing that I made last year. And again, this is like my planner um, space here. And all those are the Dollar Tree uh, containers. Um, the majority of them were gifted to me by Crafty Irina. So thank you so much. I literally goes from one end to the other there. This area is another spot that I got to work on. This is just a catch-all. All my um, tools that you got to plug in on here. And this I plan on securing to either the leg or back here and getting that out of the way. Let me come back over here. Underneath this, this is a, um, I think it's a dust ruffle that I found at the thrift store. And underneath, these two things used to sit on that little cart and under my desk. So now it's holding... Oh, now I have my sequence here. I need that close by because I use it a lot. And this is actually my little tiny sewing machine sewing kit. Um, I just use that as a catch-all for stuff that I still have left over for sale. Again, my um, file cabinet. My laminating sheets are right there handy. I was able to leave my cords here handy. They were all used to. They always used to fall over and I would have to get under there and try to pull them out. So coming back over here, my um, ottoman, I have to lift my legs every now and then. I go, you know, I get up and move around a bit and then when I come back I'll lift my legs. Because I do, I get swelling of my legs and feet from the pills that I take. So I put that there. <laughs> and, okay, so here's my board for my movers and shapers. Some pieces that I made in the past. This is when I used to do all this kind of stuff. But now I just don't have the time for this type of projects. So here's where I temporarily hang up some projects that are gifted to me or some of my own stuff. Some things I've kept for years. And if you're watching, you probably see something that belongs to you. And then this I found at a thrift store. So I'm using it for all the extra tapes and things and fillers and foam tape and stuff like that and then behind my door now i have this in the way is a shoe rack that i found like at tuesday morning or marshall's that i'm using for all my punches and again i try not to exceed capacity so when i buy new ones if it doesn't have a spot then i have to let go of something so that's pretty much how i keep things organized here so all right, so now let's go into my closet. So here we have this closet, and the table used to cover up to about here. So whenever I needed to get to that door, it was kind of hard, but I still was able to get in there. But now it's back open again, and I need to do some patch-up work on the walls because, you know, things get, you know, you get holes and stuff. So let's look over here. And it's pretty jam-packed, okay, but at least it's hidden. It's stuff that I can't keep out. Now, here's all the wrapping paper I mentioned. Um, I have this light. Don't know if that helps, but I just got this one. Then I had this unicorn one. I don't know if I shared that, but that's from Marshalls. So I'm wanting to make some, not out of all of them, but out of some of these, some TNs using the wrapping paper. All my extra straws are here. This is a lot of extra stuff. These are um, things, you know, eventually I do some of my crochet doily kits and these are the parts that haven't been cut yet. I just don't have the time to do it all the time. This is, see, I think that's that jar. I think it's big. Um, these have like boxes and stuff to alter. And let's come down here. Just extra things. All my note cards are in here. Some handmade goodies from others are there. And you can see all my pearl trims. And just take a look there. It's been a long day, so I'm kind of out of breath. All right, so then on this side... This is all home stuff that we don't go into, you know, often. So, and we also have our luggages in here. And these are all those containers from Big Lots. I love these. You know, they lock. 
So this is my holiday stuff. I just put up my um, Halloween for now because I've been rearranging it. I got to take it down. So it's two at you know two pieces at a time, but you can I'll lock them all if you want. So this is all my holiday, and this is just extra things for all days. And then this is mostly stuff that I sell when I make kits. This is my holiday washi um, storage, just some extra ribbon. And up here is all my holiday decor. There's more behind these two things. And then an extra bag that I used that when Hurricane Irma was coming and I put stuff in case we lost power or if we had to go somewhere, you know, um, I would have some crafty stuff to work with to keep busy. So I'm going to keep that empty for occasions like that or whatever. So there's Christmas. And Christmas and Halloween are mixed in there. Plus, oh, there's more in here. Um, I did, again, make a couple boxes of stuff for Goodwill. And then I put some more in another closet in the apartment. Oh, okay. So, actually, it wasn't that long. I thought it was going to be over a half hour. Oops. So I do like, it's hard to get used to it, but I do like the open space now. And again, I could just throw down that air mattress. Um, we'll, we'll roll out the chair and then just put the air mattress down here. But again, this is my favorite side because it's just, you know, it all, it all looks nice. This area, one day, if I ever have enough money, I would just love to buy, um... Like all white furniture to coordinate like this right except for the desk because the desk is nice and sturdy unless I could just put a white piece of um, laminate down or something but it'll work for now and yeah so thanks for watching and I will see you guys next with some more projects okay everybody so I decided to come back on to and attach this part of the video to my room tour um it's a for me this is messy i don't know <laughs> it's in here but this is um for projects for halloween that i'm working on i i i like to have some kind of container so that i could shop around in my room for things that i know i want to use or would coordinate with what i'm making so i have a few halloween um a couple of halloween swaps and i went into my stash and pulled out things that are not Halloween related, but we coordinate, you know, so like my trims and flowers. Um, and then I did throw in the Halloween stuff that I had. So I put it in this Target um, thing I found a while back. But what I wanted to share with you are the changes that I made. I mentioned that I wasn't happy with this particular wall, this area here. So I'm going to show you what I did. Um, I did go ahead and... If you remember over here, I had a little wooden thing where all my bling was and actually had a little drawer. So I condensed and put in this one here my stickers and these are mostly dimensional stickers and like chipboard stickers. And then the bling is all here. I didn't have to get rid of anything, but I did organize it a little better. And all the extra stuff like say paper bows, pre-made bows, um, store-bought rosettes and stuff like that. I put it in this little thing that is from Target as well. That's from Target, that's from Target. And then tags and things, even though I have a container filled with more tags, um, for now I just threw them in there and so a few extra sticky notes um, that really don't fit in the stories that I have. But so I took out whatever was here as far as bows. I kept it organized. Bows and rosettes um, there. And then tags here and then stickers like dimensional and those kind are in here. And then I had this little jar of gold paper clips of all sizes on my little shelf. Um, I think this is the same. I wasn't going to put this here but i decided i needed to lift it because i didn't like that ugly wall which needs painting but i probably will never get to that um and yeah so now let's go over here 
I rearranged my desk and this little tray used to be here and what I did well actually let me go down here the um, extension whatever this is called was sitting on my desk and I decided to stick it here and it turns on my hot glue and this and whenever I need my fuse tool I can plug it in I don't leave that plugged in because I don't use it all the time and this does have an on and off switch so if I know I'm not going to use my glue gun and I'm just going to use this I'll just turn this off you know and of course I gotta switch that on so I just used dimensional tape like a few pieces here and it's also in a discrete area where if I do want to take it off and I can't remove all that tape, then you won't really see it that much. So that's where we started there. And that freed me up to kind of spread out a little bit. I put my paper towels slightly closer to me because I do use this when I craft my um, planner storage is here. I had put it somewhere else, but... Now it's back, you know, with my planner stuff. So I kind of like this better now. It doesn't look as cluttered. And everything's still at my fingertips. So what else did I do? Let's see. Again, I put this over here. It's still accessible, still out of the way. And I have been putting my laptop on this little corner here while I'm crafting. If I don't need this space. And also, you know, I have that extra space to put this here. I think this stayed, and I'm glad I put this out because I needed that extra space for packaging. So now back to here, um, this is how the top of the shelf looks now, and it's a lot more or a lot less de uh, cluttered. And I keep my three planners there, sort of an angle. I turned my cup around to the unicorn side. I actually put these decals on myself. And I turned it around because the handle was in the way, and I just wanted to be able to you know use it as a bookend this was somewhere else and these are just pom-poms that I made but I'm thinking I'm gonna put my um, some washi because I have three tubes of washies that I got at Tuesday morning and I got them mostly for the colors they don't have too much pattern on them and um, I ran out of space in here so one day I might have to go through there just to be able to put the washi in there instead of leaving it out but I might just put it in here just so it's handy um, so then down below because I lost lighting I don't know why I because I moved my desk over my light instead of being up like a direct above is now to the side so it doesn't bring too much lighting and I always wanted to light up down here so what I did, as you can see, it's a little battery powered light. And this is from the Dollar Tree I picked up a couple months ago, I believe. So for a dollar, it's 3.6 feet, warm white light. And this one has this silver wire. And then they had a copper looking one also. I don't know if I picked that up, but I think I got four of these or six of these because I love lighting up projects certain projects I like to just add some lighting just for fun so um, I took one and I'll probably be using one or two more of these for my projects for the Halloween thing I don't know but I took one plugged it in see how much lighting it was and I think it does light it up a little more so let me turn it off okay so you can see this little shadow here and it's dark in there so let me turn it back on and it kind of light lights it up a little more um i wasn't sure if i should have gone further in for more light i don't know if that would have made a difference it might i am using some it's not the scotch brand i think it's Dollar Tree brand tape so it's already starting to come off or I didn't use big enough pieces but I will I'm going to be playing around with that and see if it does any better if I put it in more I, I probably should like put it in around here but I have to do it when my cat's sleeping because <laughs> she loves these wire things when I was unwrapping it unwrapping it she came over she wanted to start playing with it because it was just flopping around and and I 
last year when I was putting up my Halloween display, I used a lot of these lights and she would not leave it alone. And when I wasn't around, she would tear down my lights. So that's one of the reasons why I don't put up my display and I have to have lighting. You know, I love these little lights. Anyway, so um, this is just for now. Since it is already coming off, I'm going to get some real scotch tape. <laughs> and then I'm going to try, before I use the scotch tape, I'm going to try bringing it in more and see if it does any better. But I just don't want it to come off as I pull things out. You can see I squeeze things in every little space that I can. But so far it does already lighten it up a little. So that's that. And then I want to come over to my closet because I think I did show you my closet. And I went in here again and organized it because I didn't like how it looked. So like this was really jumbled up. I need all these empty things here because... Um, they help me out when I put kits together or when I buy more stuff to sell. As you can see, it's way up there, and I haven't even cut these up yet. So I need these for that <clears throat> or for any other reason. Um, same thing with all these trays. I use all this stuff for selling things. So I cleared it up, and what I did was I actually had tools and all these containers all in one of these Dollar Tree bins that fold away and I reorganize it and now that was over there and I didn't want to get rid of it because I really like it so I organize all the extra tools and adhesives and things that I have put them in there I emptied out a whole bunch of these little um, iris containers about four of them I think um, I went through them and then I put all the little things in here and then I just had a couple left so this is still gonna get filled with more holiday sequins but now it's just two and eventually I probably can go through that and find another spot for that this is from the Dollar Tree I thought that would be fun so that's how I moved around that and then I've got this is stuff that I sell I have a bag full of goodies in there and it's just a little more organized it, it bothers me you know if it's not if it looks so cluttered and there's miss Haley looking at all the stuff because every time I move around things she she hears me and comes out and investigates so it's definitely a lot less cluttered I still got my light see this is one of the lights I would have wanted to put under my little shelf over there but that's pretty much what I did today. It's my first day of my vacation. And, um, oh, there she goes. I was gonna, hey. And I woke up at four, no, I woke up quarter to three because this girl here wanted to start meowing, even though my husband had fed her before he left for work. He left around two. Was it two or three? No, at three, because he had to go in. Hey, I'm trying to show my audience, because people like to see you sometimes. She is being so snoopy. So, yeah, um, she woke my, my butt early, and that's what I started to do, was reorganizing before I crafted. I'm actually am going to go out with my girlfriend today. Um, and we're going to do some shopping. I'm going to try to restrain myself, though. It's her that wanted to go out. She wanted to go to Michael's Hobby Lobby and that new Tuesday morning. So let's see how I do. You'll see the haul if I have one. But I need to be good because I just reorganized and I really don't have space for more stuff. I have a very short list of what I really need. Hey. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you liked the room tour. And it should stay this way for a little bit until I <laughs> change my mind. Um, again, I'm going to be working on some, some more Halloween and then just some other things before I get into Christmas. Hello? What are you doing? So I'm going to say my goodbyes as we watch Miss Haley snooping around. Thanks again for watching. Can I say goodbye? Hey. Hey, why are you so nosy? Let's say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. See you guys next time. Don't get...
don't don't go up there she wants to go up higher and higher all right you guys see you guys next time